about uh, welfare, right? It's a big thing in Europe and um, and it's trickling to some other countries. Why do you say it is a big well, it's topic always, in Europe? <laughs> it's always seemed to start in Europe. Yeah? You know? Oh, yeah. It seems like it, okay. at least for most of these, uh, for these things, which my personal concern is that a lot of these topics, they... Uh, they make and it's a it's a question to you as well because in mm -hmm. my personal view it makes um they can make agriculture non-competitive or mm -hmm. bankrupt agriculture mm -hmm. in general so what's your view i mean a lot of the th these things and some of them make sense some maybe not as much depending on what we're talking about <laughs> in my view but it's almost inevitable but also right what's that middle ground or do you think some of these chains are making pig production less and less um so sustainable not in the green no way, no 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 sustainable yeah. is not only green in a green. business way right yeah is, exactly do you think that's happening could yes it could be this it's true that uh, when i was representing belgian farmers well it was not was not about Belgian farmers, it was about Wallonian farmers. You know, Belgium is a very complicated country. Okay. And we have two, re well, we have more than two regions, but uh, for agriculture, we have two regions, the North, Flanders, okay. and the South, Wallonia. And uh, in Flanders, you have a lot of pigs, million of pigs. And 5% uh, of the production is in the South, in Wallonia. And it was all the time this uh, position between both sectors in the north and the south because one is more extensive and small and the other one is uh, about more uh, bigger farms. Well, it's not really big for uh, an American mm -hmm. point of view. but And there was this uh, opposition about animal welfare. So in terms of trade, we, we are always explaining that animal welfare in Europe is better to consumers, okay? Mm -hmm. Even the lowest level, the regulatory level, we are always explaining that is uh, the best animal welfare is in Europe. And we are, as farmers, as when I was representing them, we are trying to close the market to all imports from other countries because it's not uh, sustainable from an economical point of view and a social point of view. So that's, yeah, that's true. I don't know if it's only a thought or it's really true, but it's there, it's somewhere there. And animal welfare in Europe is a complicated matter. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, is, why is that? Oh, you have a different, really, the problem of animal welfare is people are is thinking that they will like, to be outside, to decide to go outside, uh, to avoid to, to live in a cage. So yeah, it's, it's complicated because it's very emotional, you know? And uh, well, the only thing that we used to explain to the authorities, the European authorities, and uh, I think it's everywhere, is that uh, we have to take decisions to improve animal welfare as a whole. I mean, if you improve animal welfare in our perspective on giving more place, you have to be sure they don't have problems on animal health, increasing mortality or, uh, or some diseases. Or So we need science-based arguments, not emotional ones. Uh, I mean, I have a dog. I would like to go out for hours to to walk <laughs> but uh, yeah that's that's not possible perhaps should be but it's not possible so animal welfare is a balance between some other things and we are just uh, my perspective in, in europe is that we are thinking about animal welfare not a question of a space only for, sp only only for space yeah that's yeah. that's a great point yeah.